For the Sunshine Double over, we've got Miami to go through. My predictions for Miami, which, I mean, I don't think they did too bad. We'll find out in a second. But on the second channel, by the way, we do have these predictions coming out for the big events. We did one for the Australian Open, Indian Wells, Miami. But let's go through how I did this week in my predictions. So this is a tough one to start with, but I think Rabakina might outperform Shviante. All right, starting with a win. Why do I always start these videos by getting the first one right? Of course, Fiontek losing to Alexandrova before the quarterfinals and we're back into making the finals, so I'll take it. <laughs> the best qualifier, I'm going to go with Volley Nets. She did really well last week. <laughs> and on the men's side, I'm going to back Klein because he's been pretty good the last couple of weeks. <laughs> All right, so Volley Nets lost in the second round. A little bit disappointing. I expected a little bit better from her. Townsend was actually the best of the qualities, making it to the third round. And Klein lost in the first round of Mickelson, which was a huge disappointment. I should have probably picked somebody else, maybe Vilch, who made the third round. He's had a couple of good weeks at the Sunshine Double, so a bit of a loss on this one. For the country, I'm going to go with America again. I mean, Americans in America. It's a super easy thing to pick. Thank you, Danielle Collins. She saved this one because they did do well. They did better than anybody else. And again, America, they're playing in Miami. The Americans are going to do well. And they did. And Danielle Collins saved the day. She won the title. So for the Aces, I'm going to go with Zhang, who really hasn't been good lately. And I'm going to go with Shelton being the hometown hero. And I reckon he's going to have a good run. So Zhang, she ended up losing early in the tournament, so didn't have a chance to hit any aces. Really, that many aces that I expected from her. Shelton's the same. He lost early as well, so should have picked Rebecca. Hindsight, I mean, she had the most aces out of everybody. And on the men's side, maybe Zverev or Medvedev would have been a better pick because they both serve really well. Even Dimitrov, he was a really, really big server this week. So this is a bit of an interesting one as well. Sinner, Alcaraz, both played well last week. Of course, they played each other in the semifinals. But I'm going to go with Sinner this one. I think Sinner. All right, so I uh, forgot to react to that one for some reason. I don't know why. It just didn't come through. But uh, I picked Sinner, and he won. And he won the whole thing. And I'll take that one. And let's, yep, let's keep going. All right, so for the unseated runs that I think are going to happen, I'm going to go with Naomi Osaka on the women's side. I think she's got a really good draw. And on the men's side, I'm going to back Rusevori because I think he's been really good here in the past. So Osaka did do well. She made the third round. She beat Svetolina, which was a huge win to get through. She ended up losing to Garcia in a close match, but very, very good run there. Happy to have that one. But Rusevori lost in the first round to Halfman. That was super disappointing. Bit of a shock as well because I think a lot of us expected more from him, especially considering he was so close to beating Medvedev at the Australian Open. He just hasn't seemed to replicate that since. Now, top 10 upsets. This is an interesting one. I'm going to go with Alex Dimonor on the men's side. And I'm going to go with Zachary, who, again, played really well last week. But I feel like her draw might be a little bit tough. All right, so Dimonor made the fourth round, lost to Marajan. Yeah, it was an upset, but technically is an upset in the first couple of rounds, not the fourth round. So I can't claim that one. But Zachary did really well. She made the quarterfinals. So that was just a terrible pick. I could have picked Sabalenka. I could have picked Jabur. I should have just gone with what I did in Indian Wells and picked Jabur and Rublev. I mean, that's what got me the wins there. For my Dark Horse picks, I'm going to go with Kalen Sky on the women's side. And on the men's side, I'm going to go with Hashinov. I reckon he might be able to do a little bit of damage. So Kalen Sky did make the fourth round. Unfortunately, had a walkover against Sakri. I really reckon she would have beaten Sakri in that match. On the men's side, Hashinov made the fourth round as well. So look, they had a little bit of a run. He lost his Zverev in the end pretty easily. But yeah, look, they both made good runs. I'll take it. So Medi versus Verev, a little bit of a different one here. I'm going to go with Medvedev. I think Medvedev, he's the defending champion. He played really well last week. So I can't claim this one. I'm just going to give myself half a point because they both made the semifinals and they both lost. So nobody actually progressed further. I think this is the first time we've had this problem where they both made the same round and both lost. My hot take for this one, I reckon we're going to get an unseeded semi-finalist on maybe both the men and the women, or maybe just one or the other. I reckon there's just going to be some random player in the semi-final lineup. How good's Danielle Collins? I mean, she saved this. There was actually a lot of random players in the quarterfinals. Danielle Collins making the semi-finals. And like I said, over the last couple of years, we've had this happen. You know, Dimitrov making the final. That was not expected this week. We had players like Alexandrova making it far who were unexpected as a ranker on the women's side as well. We only had one top 10 player into the semifinals on the women's side. On the men's side, of course, we have players like Mahatch, Marajan doing really well. 
All right, so the semi-final picks. These ones are always the hardest to do, but on the top half of the draw, I'm going to go with Fiontech taking on Osaka. On the bottom half of the draw, I'm going to go with Sabalenka versus Rabakina. <laughs> on the men's side, I'm going to go with Elkres taking on Hashinov. And then the bottom half, I'll go with Medvedev versus Sinis. <laughs> all right, so one out of four. That, I mean, this was horrible. Well, look, I get one right, but I get all these wrong. You know, I get the... Get Rebecca in a right, but Sabalenka loses. She obviously had tragic cir circumstances. Fiontech got upset in the fourth round, so a bit disappointing there. So I nailed one of them. Medvedev did play Sinner, so that was good. Got that one right. Elkers, of course, just losing before the semifinals. Hashinov losing to Zverev. Zverev ended up making the semis. So, yeah, a little bit disappointing that, uh, you know, that we didn't get maybe three out of four here. But two out of four, I'll, I'll take that every day. And the champions of the event on the women's side... I'm going to go with Rabakina. And I'm going to go with Sinner on the men's side. Man, if Rabakina had won, you would not hear the end of it. I'll tell you that much. But Sinner winning, love that. Love that. I should get bonus points for this. I mean, these are only worth a point each to get these winners. And I should be getting like 10 points for this. Yannick Sinner, he's played so well. I mean, he's so easy to pick. I mean, it's almost like picking Djokovic for the last 10 years. It's so obvious that he's going to win most things. Sinner right now. So there are my predictions. I did the same at Indian Wells and Miami. So better than the Australian Open. One of these days, I'm going to definitely get like 20 out of 25. It's going to happen. One of them. Then I'll retire. Then I'll be done. I'll ride off into the sunset and it'll be all over. Let me know down in the comments below. How'd you do with your predictions for the Miami Open? Look, there were some massive, massive upsets, some random results. Very, very hard to predict this one. But of course, we'll do these again when we get the clay courts in a couple weeks.